For over five years, Syria has seen war, the worst of terrorism and a severe humanitarian crisis. More than 8 million kids are in need of help. And one of them, Bana, has been tweeting about the reality of war, giving millions of other kids voice. While she has had huge support, the mistrust between Syria and Turkey has made some people question even the little girl's agenda. Here's more on that. Hello, my friend. Ronaldo, I love football so much. I am a fan of you from Syria. I love you. Hello. Seven-year-old Bana has won millions of hearts. Tweeting on the war in Syria, her innocent words have brought a war thousands of kilometers away home. This Christmas, Bana wishes for a T-shirt of and from her favorite footballer, Ronaldo Cristiano. But the trolls on Twitter aren't even sparing a child. Like this one says, now she is in paradise trying to take from those in hell. Another one even more hateful. Don't fall for it, her dad is a terrorist that kills Syrian children. She's a fake. You met with the president of Turkey, you're safe, and I'm sure there are more needy kids who need that T-shirt. Despite such hateful tweets, thankfully there are enough supporters of Bana online. Bana is now in Turkey and has met President Erdogan. Syrians who blamed Turkey for supporting ISIS and other terror groups accuse Erdogan of using Bana for publicity and Bana for being a marketing tool. But Bana hasn't been alone in her war against hate. According to UNICEF, 8.4 million Syrian children are in need of immediate humanitarian aid. Millions have witnessed brutal violence that began more than five years ago. 50% of those displaced are children. 2.6 million are no longer in school. 2.5 million are either living as refugees or are on a run in search of safety. Bana has been tweeting along with her mother. So many have questioned whose views really were being represented in those tweets. Nonetheless, the young child has managed to reach out to many far away. Bana is out of Aleppo, but many Syrian children continue to brave the winter and the war. And they're hoping for safety this Christmas. In Beirut, Anshal Vora, Viom.